I'm going to go back and uh, get rid of that theme. There we go. I'm just going to put on a regular color theme instead here. Something easy. Okay. The next thing I want to go through is a unique feature that Keynote has. It's found in PowerPoint as well, but you really have to look for it in PowerPoint. In Keynote, it's a lot easier to find. And that is the ability to format your text boxes in unique and interesting ways. So again, to get a background, we want to make sure we are not clicked on a text box. You're just clicked on the slide. This time, if I click on a text box, and I go under format again, notice that my section has changed. If I'm just clicked on the slide and I'm under format, it looks like this. If I click on the um, text box and go under format, it now looks very different. Here are some unique features that you can do once you are clicked on a text box. First thing you could do is it Currently says fill, no fill. What does no fill mean? There's no color, it's clear. But I can change that. Maybe I want to add a color to it. Maybe I want to add a gradient to it. So I'm just changing the text box. Maybe I want to add a border. And I can add a line border. Maybe I want to change the color of the line border. Maybe I want to change what the line border looks like and I want to make it fuzzy. Maybe I want to change the size of that and I'm making it bigger so it stands out. Lots of really cool things you can do with that. Let's come down here. Let's click on this one. Maybe on this one, instead of a line border, maybe I want to do a picture frame. I can click on that. And I can select a picture frame that I want to use. Maybe I decide I want to do a shadow. Notice I have now like a grayish shadow here. And I can go ahead and choose, maybe I don't want the shadow to be black, maybe I want it to be yellow, maybe I want it to be more blurry or less, maybe I want to change how much it's offset, I could change how see-through it is. I could change the angle that it's at. Maybe I want to put a reflection on. These are all options once you're clicked on the text box. When you're clicked on the text box, you can also come up here and go to text. This is where you can change what your font looks like. Any font is okay with me as long as I can read it and as long as it has uppercase and lowercase letters. If it has only uppercase letters, that does not work. It has to have both. This is where you can change the size or the color of your font. This is also where you change your alignment, whether it's centered, aligned left, or aligned right. Bold, underlined, or italicized. This is kind of a different button right here. This button aligns it vertically. These align it horizontally. This one will put it in the center of the text box, vertically, or in the top 
of the text box. So depending on what you want to do, you might use that. If I come into here, into this text box, let's scoot this over so we can see, this is where you can choose a bullet if you want, or a number if you want, depending on what you're wanting to do there. You can customize those. With Keynote, when you get into your second slide where you have bulleted items, it does start it in the center. That is different. In PowerPoint, your bulleted list starts at the top of the text box and moves down. This is different. It's going to start in the center. If you want to start it at the top, you're going to have to select that. As you type and you move down the page, and you uh, move out of the text box, notice your font will get smaller. It should automatically do that. If it doesn't, you'll need to go to layout, just right here, and notice this box is checked where it says shrink to fit. If that box is not checked, it will not get smaller as you type, and you'll have to manually change it. So that's important to know. Under a range, you really will not use this very often, so I'm not going to talk about that at this point.